What is going on YouTube? k 3 here with a remastered version of my fingerless thumb around tutorial. So um, the fingerless thumb around is one of at least my favorite uh, power tricks in pen spinning. And I mean, I'm not going to show you the continuous version today, but this is obviously the foundation for that trick. And it is of course helpful for many other tricks. Um, but without further ado, this is what the fingerless thumb around looks like. This is kind of similar to a bust, which again, we've already learned, except you can probably do it and I can't for whatever reason. But instead of doing it around any of these other fingers I mentioned that busts are for, you can kind of imagine that it is a bust around this, this finger. So if that helps you, great. Um, but for the rest of us or the rest of anyone else who doesn't get that, which could be a lot of people, um, you're going to kind of start with, well, as with the normal thumb round, you're going to start with more of the pen out on this side of your hand. And just like I mentioned in the bust tutorial, um, instead of using the other fingers on your hand to push the pen around your thumb in this case, you're going to be using your wrist and hand motion. And maybe if you guys have learned the bust already, which you know hopefully you guys have, um, you guys have an idea of what this is like. Um, seeing as your thumb can be thought of as being, you know, perpendicular to the rest of your fingers, you might have an idea that, um, and you would be right to think that instead of, you know, turning your hand over like this, you need to do something a little bit more different. And this is true because the motion for the, um, the motion for the fingerless thumb around is not necessarily like a turning your hand over. It's more so like pushing it like forward like this. And the reason why you need to do that is because um, the pen is like this and you can kind of hold it like this, like just have it rest on top of your middle finger kind of like that. And then the motion is like this. Um, yeah, it's kind of like this. So you're making like, you are making an arc with your thumb. You're just making it, it looks kind of like a backwards C from your position. Um, or not from your position as you're seeing it now, but when you're actually spinning, it looks kind of like a reverse C. So on camera now, it looks kind of like a rainbow, like an arc like that. But um, it more so looks like a, from my perspective, you know, a backwards C. And I'm obviously over exaggerating how much you need to move your hand, but that's what the motion is like. And when you do that with the pen sitting here as it is, you're going to, that was really bad. Um, you're gonna do that. And I want you guys to practice that drill because you guys need to learn the, as always, how much force is associated with doing you know, that. Um, and you can also just hold the pen like this, to be quite honest, and then like just pinch it between, you know, pinch it in your thumb flap and then do the same C-like motion and do that. Um, now I personally am throwing it because like, when you do this little drill here and you're trying to gauge how much um, force you need to push with, you're likely going to send the pen shooting like in front of you somewhere. Um, and there's no real right direction to have it shoot off in because uh, if you shoot it off, for example, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna try to creatively fail this every time, if you fling it too lightly, it's going to go off like to this way, to your right, if you're right-handed, to the left, if you're left-handed. If you push it like a medium amount, which is like the right amount, um, and I can't do it right now for some reason, it's going to go like forward. And if you just let it continue spinning, it can go that way. But neither the situation where the pen goes forward or the pen goes this way are wrong because that just depends on whether or not the pen spun around your hand or spun around your finger like 50% of the way or like 75% of the way. And you can kind of, you know, understand what I'm saying here. And even technically the, you know, the pen that goes like this and then flies off this way, that's like, you know, it went around like 25%. So just based on that, you can kind of gauge how much force you're putting into it. Obviously if the pen is going, like if you're going like this and then it falls towards you, that's wrong. Try to at least get the pen so that is it goes on the back side of your hand somewhere. Because if you're if you're able to throw the pen, not throw the pen, but like you know, spin the pen so that it does that, then you're going to be able to um, 
you're almost there because if it's like behind your hand, okay, maybe like if it rolls off here, you just need to put a little bit more force before the pen just turns this way. And once the pen starts turning this way, and you know, let's say it rolls off this way, if you're doing this drill, um, you can already technically catch it like that. And you know, if the pen keeps spinning, goes off like that, you can catch it like this. If the pen goes like this, you know, you can catch it like that. So like there really is no like wrong per se direction for it to fly off in, but obviously you want to catch it before then. That's the point of the trick, right? So just do that until you can consistently get the pen to go behind your hand, if not a little bit further around. Um, and then once you do that, um, you can then go ahead and catch it. So catching it is just as easy as, you know, pinching down as the pen comes back around. That was really bad. And yeah, that will do it for my fingerless thumb round trick. Check out the slow-mo of the trick. Um, I'm finding that when I'm doing it like this and, you know, holding like this and then doing it, if I have the pen too close in my thumb flap here, it will get caught and it won't turn. Uh, so maybe try having the pen more so rest here. Um, so have the you know tip of the pen rest up here instead of in the thumb flap. And I'm sure that will give you guys a little bit more success. But again, you do have to like redo that little drill that I was talking about because it is a little bit different um, if you do it that way. But um, again, another easy way, you can just uh, hold the pen like, like this in the thumb flap and then just do it around like that uh, if you want. And sometimes I think that's easier, to be honest, rather than starting from here and then doing um, whatever from there. Like for some reason I can't do it anymore even though I did it in the beginning of the tutorial. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for my tutorial on the fingerless thumb round. Um, and you know, just as kind of a spoilers, you can do that continuously because if you push, um, if you do that initial thumb round, all you have to do is like move your thumb up in the air and then come back around to do another one. But I'll get to that tutorial in a separate video. But yeah, so that will do it for the fingerless thumb around. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe for more in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video.